This is not a quick bite. And yes, this man got 48 COVID-19 vaccine in one month. Now let's just use a few minutes to talk about the curious case of a German 62-year-old who received 217 COVID vaccines in 29 months. Now this includes Pfizer and Moderna mRNA vaccines and AstraZeneca viral vector-based vaccine as well. Now in January 2022, he got 48 doses of mRNA vaccine. And on some days, he even got two vaccines on the same day. Now, many, most people who received the vaccine were probably uh, getting two to three doses between 2021 and 2023. Uh, some may have four doses. Uh, even the recommendation for most immunocompromised patients was two boosters in one year. Now, when most of us are worried about getting two or three doses of COVID-19 vaccine within one year, this man boldly went where no one has gone before. Now, so why on earth did this guy get 217 COVID vaccine in 29 months? Now, this case report was published in the Lancet Infectious Disease in early March. The article did not explicitly say the motive for him, now they designated him, this person as HIM, him, to get that many vaccines. But this person was under investigation for an allegation of fraud because he intentionally sought that many doses of the vaccine. Now, most, if not all, European countries required at least two doses to travel between EU countries in 2021. And my speculation is that this person was probably seeking profit from transferring proof of vaccination to other people who did not want to get the vaccination at that time. Now, anyhow, that's my guess of his motive. The real question is how the vaccine changes his immune system. Now, one of the main concerns is that repeated chronic exposure to a given antigen can cause immune tolerance, which means the immune system would no longer react to that antigen. This is the main mechanism behind allergy shots that are given to patients incrementally, so the patient no longer develops allergy responses. So, the immune tolerance happened in him. Now, the short answer is not quite. He certainly did not die or have any apparent permanent damage uh, when this paper was published. He also didn't experience many common vaccine-related side effects like fever and pain. Otherwise, what he gained from this would not have been worth it, right? Now, if you want to learn more about the details, keep watching my breakdown of this case report. Now first, let's look at his antibody levels. Now the figure C shows his antibody levels or the quantity was clearly much higher than controls, who only had three doses. Now six months after the control third dose or after his 215th dose, the antibody level was about 5.4 times higher against wild type virus and 11.5 times higher against Omicron. Now his antibody types and distribution also appear to be slightly different. The E panel showed that he had a low amount of IgA, which would be good for mucosal defense if IgA is moved to the epithelial tissue. Now he also had IgG in his saliva. Now, even though this man had a lot more antibodies, the quality was not better. Now, panel G measured antibody avidity. That is the overall strength with which an antibody binds to its antigen through multiple binding sites. Higher avidity antibodies are generally more effective in neutralizing pathogens because they bind more stably and less likely to uh, disassociate or uh, move apart. So even after 217 doses of vaccine, his anti-spike antibody was no better than that of people who had only three doses. 
And what about IgG4? Now we know that IgG4 is observed in repeated mRNA vaccination, uh, especially in people who receive the mRNA vaccine before infection uh, or other types of vaccine. Now, according to the supplemental data, this man's first three doses were J&J, &J, Johnson & Johnson, and AstraZeneca. Now, his IgG4 was about three times lower than the controls. So this, this suggests the first few doses of the uh, messenger RNA vaccine drive more IgG4 than the rest of the doses. Now, now you may wonder, with that many antibodies, has he ever contracted COVID? Now, by the time this paper was written, he did not get infected. This was confirmed by measuring nucleocapsid-specific helper T cells. Now, only those who had an infection would have developed the nucleocapsid-specific T cells. Now, what about T cells or cellular immunity? First, just a brief explanation of T cell immunity. There are many T cell subtypes, but the major ones are CD4 helper T cells and CD8 cytotoxic T cells. Helper T cells help antibody develop. Now, cytotoxic T cells on, uh, are cells that kill cells infected with the viruses. Now, they did see more CD8 cytotoxic T cells in this man, and the absolute amount of cytokines that are released was higher because of more T cells. However, each CD8 T cell did not release more cytokines than those found in the control, so they're not any better. Now, what is the final verdict here? Now, the summary is that even after 217 doses of COVID-19 vaccine, this man did not develop immune tolerance against the spike protein. His immune system still reacted after each dose. The absolute uh, quantification or amount of his antibody and cellular response is higher than that of people who received three doses, but they are not better. Now, I do want to point out that this is really a one and only special case. No one should be getting this many COVID vaccines. His body did not experience any bad consequences, luckily, but that does not mean other people won't. Now, there are no immunological benefits to what he did to his body. Now, what bothers me about this topic uh, since the very beginning is that uh, you know, this disease or this vaccine has had a wide spectrum of effects on people. If you have followed me or this channel for more than two years, I interviewed patients on this channel in the past and who developed debilitating conditions after the vaccine. Now, on the other hand, my personal experience with the vaccine was mild to none. Now, I was even exposed to uh, a few mass spreading events and I still did not have any confirmed COVID cases. But no matter where you lie in this spectrum, I believe optimizing your health with a diet and exercise routine that works specifically for you is most helpful moving forward. Well, that is a quick update for this week. Thank you very much for watching and take good care. I'll see you in my next video.